of seeing things with new eyes, what I would call watershed eyes. And that uh, things that I know before I took this job, I'd see the water running down my street and get it going to the creek, right? That's natural. It's the way it's supposed to be, right? So I see it now as, well, maybe we shouldn't have quite so much water running down the street. Um, and how to reduce that stormwater runoff. Um, the other aspect that I think I just wanted to really highlight again from the webinar was this, this view of dominion, which has been largely misinterpreted as domination, can be viewed as our, our role of loving creation. And I will say in all, all of the work, and you've heard some of my history, my love for creation is a reflection of my love for God. And that when I am caring for creation, uh, I am exercising that kind of dominion, if you will, which is really the Hebrew is to keep and tend, to care for, or to steward, to serve the land. Um, so it's a different, yes, different meaning. I'll also say that I, I took uh, uh, very succinct notes from the webinar, and I'll be sending it out to you so that you can have your own copy of, of sort of the bullet points that she discussed and make reference back to them, including the Hebrew words, which I can't pronounce very well. Um, so that said, um, and the theme that we're talking about in scripture in this section, I want to lift up the, the Green Bible. If, I, if you haven't heard me say this already, as you can see, I I use it a lot. Um, the Green Bible has wonderful Bible studies in it. It has a preface by this, uh, Archbishop Desmond Tutu and some other luminaries. Um, but it also has several Bible studies that can guide you through uh, uh, care for creation theology and leading others in that. And every the reason it's called Green Bible is in addition to becoming relating to creation is that all the scriptures that refer to the natural world or to creation or to animals and such are printed in green. You heard the red letter Bible, that's usually the phrases from that Jesus said. But these are passages that all relate to the earth and God's creation printed in green. Go and find them. <laughs>